Namaste everyone. Hope you're doing fine. Today we'll be building this. Haiku is an application that lets you take sketch files and its layers and turn it into animations and prototypes. And you can use these animations and prototypes into uh, your applications, uh, including React applications or plain SEM files, or even into iOS and Android applications. So let's see how Haiku does this. So we have a sketch file here. We're going to take layers from this sketch file and animate in, in our Haiku project. So for that, uh, we need to make sure that we have layers that are grouped uh, in, a, in a proper manner. Uh, what I want to say, what I'm trying to say is the layers that you want to animate. Like for instance, I want to animate this record. I want to spin this record in my Haiku's project. So I need to group this layer. I'll group all of these layers that are inside this. All right. So similarly, I want to uh, move, um, making some movement to this stylus as well. And that is why I have grouped all of the layers that's inside into one single layer. And similarly, the stylus base and the base of uh, our record player here and the background. Okay. The first thing that we need to do is we'll have to make all of these layers all of these groups and layers exportable just remember only those layers will appear only those layers or groups will appear in your haikus project that you have marked as exportable in your sketch document after we have made our sketch file ready it's time to take the layers from uh, this our sketch file to um, our haiku project so let's first open up our haiku application and so it will load up a landing screen where you can see the projects that you have created re recently these are the projects that i've created uh, in haiku using haiku and that is why your screen might look a little different than this so these three files they are the demo files that are available in haiku by default so first of all let's create a new project click on the plus icon here let's name it record layer uh, animation let's just say that and hit enter so while naming, uh, it doesn't accept any uh, special characters, uh, for example, dashes or uh, slash or underscores. So it only accepts um, um, alphabets and letters. Okay. So when when we open up, uh, when we add a new project, so it gives me a sketch file by default here. So we can simply go ahead and double click this and make edits there and come back here again. Or what we can do is if a sketch, if we have already prepared a sketch file, we can click on the plus icon here and just select the sketch file that we just created. Uh, let's hit open. And as you can see, all of the layers and groups that we've marked as uh, exportable, it's available here. So that is why, that was the reason why we needed to make uh, the groups and layers exportable in a sketch file. Let me just give you a quick walkthrough of Haiku's working area. So in the left corner here, you see two tabs. The first one is library. Library contains all the sketch files that you have imported. You can go ahead and import more sketch files by clicking on plus button here. And um, so here you can see all the sketch files and its layers that you have marked as exportable in your sketch file. Second up in the tab is the state inspector. Think of state inspector as variables, a place where you can put variables and its value. So the first box you can input any variable name 
and in the second box here you can put its any value that you want so you can add more variables here and you can use these variables uh, later in your project we might see that in a while okay so that was variables and state inspector and up here in the right in the main uh, section here this is your stage this is where uh, you bring in your layers your artwork and animate them uh, so by default you get a blank white screen here uh, and there is a don't expect don't expect to uh, your sketch layers to align here automatically by default uh, you have to again uh, redraw all of these layers by redraw i mean you need to um, bring all of these layers in your stays right and yeah and align these again uh, with the way you wanted uh, you, you you drew in your sketch file which is a bit of a pain but uh, they are just in beta phase so i guess they will add uh, more functionality in their upcoming releases so yeah i just went ahead and aligned these layers again as in the sketch file so this might not be as perfect as it was in the sketch file though uh, it's okay because we're just going to look at it for demo purposes only right now in the lower section <coughs> sorry in the lower section uh, you'll see uh, all of the layers here and this is the timeline where you can animate stuff and each of these layers has uh, certain uh, attributes here uh, the all of these attributes belong to a layer here let's just expand it here and i can go ahead and change the uh, property for this layer here and as you can see the background just disappeared since i put the opacity uh, as zero let me just bring that back in i hit one and here we go busy again so similarly we can uh, manipulate other properties as well the position property position x and y and the rotation and also scale properties so these are quite limited right now and again as i said earlier maybe they will add more properties uh, in their new releases and here this is the timeline so right now you can see uh, the timeline in frames you can switch to seconds as well so one second is equal to 60 60 frames um, so when you see 60 here so this must be uh, one second yeah so this is one second and you can zoom in and out of your timeline as well so if you just drag this layer this uh, uh, what do you call this um, this uh, <laughs> rectangle here and if you drag it to the left it zooms in if you drag it to the right it zooms out of the timeline okay let's spin this record now let's start to animate this record for that we're going to um, select this layer record and it expands up it shows up all the attributes uh, that's associated with record layer here and we're going to spin this record and we we have three ways that we can do we can rotate this particular layer based on x-axis y-axis and z-axis we're going to use our z-axis and uh, just remember that uh, I could text in rotation values in radians and for those of us who don't know what radian is uh, I suggest you to google it but for now just know that uh 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians so what that means is 2 into pi is 6.2831 and so on let me just copy this value 
so what we're going to do right now is we're going to give it a spin a full circle spin for that we're going to our 120th frame here and select this frame and set the rotation z value to the, one, the value that we just copied right now so if we see now nothing really happens right now we need to add a twin to this animation so we'll simply select this line that has been created here right click on it make twin and click on linear now if we preview here we can click on this eye icon and it will play the animation for us and since we have given it one full rotation uh, it goes on a loop and we can really see a break in the animation as well I'll come back and we can also hit space to preview our animation and it will just end in our last frame in here in our timeline let's go back to our first frame and now we're going to add some movement to this uh, stylus layer as well very subtle movement just to make it look a bit natural um, uh, for that we're going to our uh, 30th frame and we'll collapse the record layer and come to stylus here and give very subtle movement here I'm going to um, first we need to add a keyframe to add a keyframe simply select the property that you want to animate and hit enter twice to add a keyframe and similarly with position Y as well okay uh, we'll also add a bit of rotation to this layer um, so let's go ahead and add keyframe to the rotation as well uh, let's say we want to animate it from starting from 30th frame and ending to 60th frame so we'll go ahead and go to 60th frame select this layer and use our arrow key to go a bit towards um, left yeah like that and we're going to use rotation to rotate our layer as well let's just say it's 0.33 yeah um, I think we will also add a bit of Y uh, movement in Y axis okay I just took it to one step and now as we did earlier we'll select all of these lines created due to the animation and we're going to right click on it and add a twin let's go ahead and add another twin say ease out to cubic now if we yes so as you can see there's a very subtle movement here and we'll go ahead and select 90th frame and add some more movement here we'll give it a bit of left movement again use the y as well and also we'll rotate it a bit more let's say yeah that looks fine so what we're doing is after we're moving this it kinds of shifts away from the center of our stylus space layer here so we're trying to bring it back to the stylus space uh, center position now again we'll select all of these and give the same twin animation ease out cubic perfect now if we go to our last frame and now we'll bring it back to the original position for that let's go to our first frame to our frame number zero and see the 
x y and x y value of the position so 302 and 76.5 let's go ahead and select 120th frame 302 and 76.5 yep. and we'll also bring rotation shed value back to zero i'll select all of these layers to make twin ease out cubic now if we preview our animation so there you go our animation is all set uh, I think I really like the animation that's uh, that we've just made here um, we can hit the publish button here and it will it will it will make uh, a URL ready for us uh, if we click on this it will open up the browser our default browser and it will take some time to load the animation that we've just created um, okay it's loading okay there we go so yes uh, and we can simply uh, copy this URL and share it with anyone uh, to our colleagues to our teammates to our clients or to anyone where we want to showcase our work and what uh, the good thing about Haiku is it generates code for us as well so if we click on get the code button here it will generate it generates codes for uh, so that we can embed it in our own application so here you can see all of the platforms that we can embed this code to it says react and there's also for ios and android it helps to download this as a lot lot json file and we can use it in uh, ios and android applications uh, it also helps us it also allows us to embed this particular code into our uh, plain html file as well and it will play the animation there okay so if we hit get the code it will get back to us the animation yep so that's about it um for now haiku is invite only um i only recently uh, got an invite about two weeks back i think and i've been using it since then i've been trying to get around this and using it uh, we have added some animation to our project as well using haiku's own platform um and if you get an invite real quick i think it's a very good tool to give it a go um, since this is in beta there are still a lot of features that's required uh, it's still quite early but I guess uh, we can still use it for some simple animations like this one um, to use it in our project so that's about it guys thank you for uh, watching this episode I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new as well so that's about it. Take care. Cheers.